This video will walk you through the steps to set geofence parameters on your vehicle's ride command display. First, make sure you have the free Polaris Ride Command app installed and set up on your device. If you have not already added your vehicle to the app, reference the Polaris Add Vehicle video to set up on your device. Put the vehicle key into the accessory position. Next, press the More tab in the bottom right corner of the app and choose Garage. Open the vehicle page from the garage and select the Vehicle Settings tab. Tap Add Area Speed Limit. Tap the plus icon to begin creating a geofence. Draw a geofence boundary by tapping points on the map. The last point will automatically close the boundary. You can then tap Save. You will be prompted to name the geofence. You can also change the inside geofence speed limit and the outside geofence speed limit. Make sure Area Active is set to the On position. You can only have one geofence active on a vehicle at a time. When your geofence settings are ready to go, tap Back. Then tap the Bluetooth icon to push changes to the vehicle. You can apply the same geofence to multiple vehicles under the Areas section. When the geofence function is turned on, the display will show Out Geofence or In Geofence, depending on the location of the vehicle. The turtle icon will also be illuminated to indicate that the geofence speed setting is active. Geofence parameters that have been previously created using the app can also be accessed using the Mode button on the vehicle display. See your owner's manual for more information on the functions and operation of the vehicle display. You have now successfully set up a geofence on your vehicle. To learn more about other ride command functions and setup procedures, check out more videos at Polaris.com.